Okay, so let's take a look at this exercise. Um, in this exercise, we're given a function f of x, y, and z, and we're also given a description of a solid region in R3. Um, it happens to be in the first octant in our uh, problem. Um, so our problem states that f of x, y, and z equals x, z, and s is the solid region in the first octant inside the sphere of radius 1 centered at the origin. I'm going to go ahead and draw that. Okay, so this is roughly what that sphere is going to look like. Uh, radius 1 centered at the origin here, um, all down in the first octant. Uh, since we're given that it's in the first octant, we can actually set our bounds immediately. Rho goes from 0 to 1, uh, phi goes from 0 to pi over 2, and theta goes from 0 to pi over 2. Now, our uh, bounds are actually in spherical coordinates already. Um, we need to change this xz. Uh, as you know, x equals rho sine phi cosine theta, z equals rho cosine phi. So all we need to do is just plug these two guys in up here uh, and evaluate that in spherical coordinates. But let's not forget that when you evaluate an integral in spherical coordinates, you also have to add in a uh, rho squared cosine, or excuse me, rho squared sine phi. So we're going to go ahead and add that in right now. Uh, rho is pretty pleasant to work with because it's just a 1 for the upper bound, so we're going to uh, evaluate in terms of rho first. So as you can see, uh, I've plugged in for my x and z, rho, sine phi, cosine theta, and rho, cosine phi. And then I've evaluated the rest of the integral here. Um, now this is pretty simple. We can just carry this right out. I'm going to uh, simplify terms a little bit, combine some like terms. So we have four rows up here, all multiplied together, rho to the fourth. We also have a couple sine fees. And it looks like everything else is by itself cosine theta, cosine phi. So that's all we can simplify. Now that we have this all set up, it's actually pretty easy. We can just carry it out from here. Um, so as I evaluate with respect to rho, the integral of rho to the fourth is one-fifth rho to the fifth. All of this is going to be treated as a constant because there is no rho. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that one-fifth out immediately. So for, we're evaluating rho from 0 to 1. Uh, for rho equals 0, uh, all this is just going to drop out and become 0. For rho equals 1, uh, we're just going to be left with what's inside here. Not as pleasant to work with on this side because we have a sine squared phi and a cosine phi. So uh, we're going to use a u substitution here. I'm going to set u equal to sine phi. Which means uh, du is just going to be uh, cosine phi d phi, which we can see up in our integral. And the last thing we need to do when making u substitution is 
change up our bounds a little bit. Upper bound is going to be sine of pi over 2, lower bound sine of 0. All right, so now that we have our bounds changed up, we can plug back in here and make our U substitution. Sine squared phi going to become a U squared. Cosine phi d phi going to become a du. And uh, cosine, uh, excuse me, cosine theta, still a constant. All right, uh, this is fairly simple to evaluate. Um, so we have one-fifth times this whole integral. The integral of u squared is going to be one-third u cubed. And since cosine theta acts as a constant, that is the integral. And I'm just going to pull that one-third out right now and combine it with the one-fifth we have to make one-fifteenth out front. Uh, again, fairly simple substitution here for u equals 1. u is just going to drop out, and we're going to be left with cosine theta. For u equals 0, the whole term is going to drop out, so our only term left is cosine theta. Um, now it's fairly simple uh, integral to evaluate. As you should know, the antiderivative uh, anti of cosine theta is just sine theta, uh, which we're going to evaluate from 0 to pi over 2. So once you've completed uh, evaluating that last integral, you should come up with uh, 1 15th sine theta from theta equals 0 to theta equals pi over 2. Um, you're going to know that theta, uh, when theta equals 0, sine of theta is also 0. Theta equals pi over 2, sine theta equals 1. So our final answer um, is going to be 1 15th is the volume of S.